Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to go over some tips on how not to suck in Rainbow Six Siege. This is a question that I have been getting a lot lately, and while I am by no means the best player in the game, and I don't claim to be, these are some things that I have been living by while playing this game that have significantly helped me out. And so easily, the biggest recommendation that I can give you is your crosshair placements. If you ever played a game like Counter-Strike, you're gonna feel right at home here, but for everyone else, you should be aiming and predicting where an enemy's head is gonna be located when you finally get into a firefight. You're gonna notice throughout today's video that when I'm moving around the map, I constantly constantly have my crosshair at a certain level. That is the level of where an enemy's head is going to be when they round the corner and they're crouching. The reason why this is important and the reason why good crosshair placement is going to be is going to mean the difference between you winning and losing is because of the crazy high damage model in this game. If you get a headshot, it doesn't matter what weapon it is, it could be a pistol all the way up to an assault rifle, if you land that accurate shot, your enemy is going to die in that one bullet. And so if you come in conflict with someone and you have to make even that half second or split second movement from their chest up to their head, that might give the enemy plenty of time to be able to take you out. As soon as I started to bring this mentality to all of my matches and always making these predictions of where I thought the enemy was head was going to be, I started doing significantly better in this game. Uh, now you might be asking the question though, why are you predicting that the enemy is going to be crouching and not standing up like in every other first person shooter? Well you have to remember that the name of the game in Rainbow Six Siege is Stealth. If the enemy knows where you're located, you are putting yourself at a massive disadvantage, and one way to give them that advantage is to make a lot of noise. If you're running around, or even if you're just standing up and slowly walking around the map in that standing position, you're making significantly more noise than if you were crouch walking. It's for this very reason why a majority of the players are going to be crouch walking around the map, or even crouching in an objective because they don't want to give away that information. And so it's for that very reason why I predict most enemies that I'm coming in conflict with are gonna be in that crouch position. Uh, not only that, but if you do come across someone who is standing up or, st or, or prone on the ground, it's just a quick adjustment of your mouse to make that headshot. If you do aim or you're predicting always for someone who is standing up, and you do come in conflict with someone who is prone on the ground, that's a lot further that you have to compensate for, and that is probably going to be the death of you. And so those are the reasons why I make those predictions. Uh, another thing you may have noticed is that I am constantly constantly tap firing in Rainbow Six Siege. I will fully admit when I first started playing this game that I just sprayed down range. I just held down uh, the trigger finger and I just let it rip because I thought that because of that, that high headshot damage that the best way of taking out enemies was just to put a bunch of bullets down range. Eventually I would get lucky, eventually one of those bullets would find their mark and land in their head and that would be the best way of securing kills. And while you do get lucky every once in a while, like don't get me wrong, this is still a valid way of playing the game, I'm finding more and more that if I'm patient with my shots and I'm patient and going for those tap fires that I am significantly more likely to go on extended kill streaks and kill multiple players back to back. There is a lot of recoil on some of these guns, and while eventually I might get to the point, or you might get to the point, where you've mastered the recoil, and you can just full control that recoil all day long and don't need a tap fire anymore, uh, for the most part, I'm just finding more and more that I am way more successful with this tap fire mentality. Uh, the next piece of advice that I have revolves around map knowledge. Knowing the map layout is incredibly important in Rainbow Six Siege. Knowing all the different angles, the flanking routes, where they can catch you by surprise, where they even have an angle to shoot you from, is always important in a first person shooter, but especially in a game where you can die instantly from seemingly nowhere. And so while I know that this is a very daunting task because I put about 50 hours learning these maps normally, I mean I just played the game and eventually I got to the point where now I'm fairly comfortable on all of them knowing most of the spots and knowing just the basic layouts, for someone who's new, even, even just playing 10 hours, every single time you jump into a map it's gonna feel like you're playing it for the very first time. And so the one way that I would recommend to learn these layouts is to play custom maps. If you aren't aware, I don't know what it's like on console but at least on PC, uh, you can join a custom game and run around by yourself and just learn the layouts. Here is a perfect example. I, I'm literally by myself. There is no one on the enemy team. You do have a countdown, which kind of sucks. You got you to gotta go quickly, but go around the maps 
and and learn them like this. When you spawn in by a bomb, yeah, you might get the gist of that area, but it gives you no idea of the grander context of how the map is laid out, especially the larger ones like Oregon or the bar. I mean, some of these are gigantic. And so if you are struggling and you've only put a couple of hours in this game and it feels like you have no idea where the enemy's gonna be coming from, jump into a custom server, run around, and at least get a basic idea of how these maps are laid out. The next piece of advice that I have is to use your drones constantly. Do it. All the time. I don't care what it is, if you've got a drone and you're entering a room, use your drone to figure out if there's any enemies inside of it. I cannot tell you how many times I've saved not only my life, but the life of my teammates by first scouting out a room before we just all bum rushed in like idiots. There are a lot of spots that an enemy can hide in, even in just a basic four square room. Like you would be surprised at how many nooks and crannies there are in an office and just having your drone in to quickly scout it out is going to significantly improve how well you do and also just how frequently you win some of these rounds. If you haven't noticed a trend here, Rainbow Six Siege is all about intelligence and knowing where the enemy is located. At the very beginning, we talked about most people not running around because you can hear them and that puts them at a disadvantage. Knowing the basic layout of the map so that you know where the flanking routes are, so not only that you can take advantage of it, but you also know where the enemy is going to be coming from. Then with the drones, just knowing where the enemy is around the objectives is incredibly important. And so if you are new to this game, yes, your accuracy is going to play a Role here. That is a key part of any first person shooter, but I would argue one of the most important aspects of this game is just gathering information for you and your team. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any advice for newer players or even advanced tips, let everyone know down below. This is a new game for everyone. We're all kind of learning together. And so if there is something that has really helped you out in this game, uh, let us know all down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.